Hey everyone and welcome back. Today it's time for another snowflake. And wouldn't you know it, this snowflake is full of salt. A lot of salt and a lot of shaking with fear. So I'm hereby dubbing this snowflake the salt shaker. I think this Donald Trump election has met the world's need for sodium chloride for the next thousand years. Anyway, without further ado, here we go. Enjoy. If you voted for Trump. Yes, go on. What are you going to do, kill me? No, 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 I know. You're going to cry on me, aren't you? And I know this isn't an insignificant percentage. Yeah, winning usually implies that, dum-dum. About half of you voted for a man who says that it's okay to grab women by the pussy. And it totally is okay to grab women by the pussy if they consent. You know, when most other men except for Donald Trump do that, it's called getting the woman off. Haven't you ever had an irresistible urge to grab your boyfriend's dick? Oh, wait. We've seen your quote-unquote boyfriend, haven't we? In other words, loyalty gave him cancer. I like it. Well, not quite half of you because <clears throat> the popular vote and all that, but the Electoral College is only a problem when your candidate doesn't win, right? Wrong. You can't bitch about the rules of the game after the game has been played. If you want to do something about it, fine, it's a free country, but don't come and moan to us about it after the fact. And I get it. You wanted to change. Well, you got one. Excellent. But, I've said this before and I'll say it again, you were the ones who made this happen. When you made it impossible to even talk about one of the presidential candidates, you left people no choice. When the mere mention of his name gets you called a racist and a misogynist and a phobe of every taste and color, then what option do you have? The only thing left to you is to speak through the voting booth. My friends and my family, people I know, people I don't know, are terrified. Well, they're fucking morons. No, seriously, what the fuck is it you're afraid of? I mean, I know you like to say that Trump is literally Hitler, but have you actually bought into your own propaganda? Are you really that fucking dumb? Women, people of color, Muslims, immigrants, disabled people, gay people, bi people, trans people, people who are branded as different, I hope you realize that that's not a homogenous group that you can just claim to speak for, you fuckhead. We are scared for our lives. Scared for your lives? Really? Fucking hell, I wish a goddamn tiger would escape from the zoo or something so you could experience fear for your life. Or at least go out and wrap your fucking car around a tree or something so you can get an inkling of what fearing for your life is like. This is fucking infuriating. This is what you get when you have a fucking generation safe space. Fearing for your life. Yeah. This woman is on a 72 hour psychiatric hold. She tries to run, shoot her. Donald has always thrived off of fear mongering. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, kill me now. Are you fucking serious right now? You're the ones running around saying it's the end of the world as we know it. We're all gonna die. Donald Trump is literally Hitler and he's literally coming to literally kill me literally right now. But no, that's not fear mongering at all. That's just our fifis and we're entitled to our fifis. He's built his entire political campaign around painting our political climate as the worst possible scenario. Hey moron. Fucking moron! You guys are the worst possible scenario. The fact that you don't realize that is fucking sad. Where's your pacifier? Diversity and progress as something to actively fear. The fuck does progress even mean in political terms? It's such a nebulous term that you can't even pin it down. And Donald Trump never said he feared diversity, you fucking liar. He's just not too keen on illegal immigration. Do you have a problem with that? Well, here we are. We are afraid. Yeah, 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 but you're afraid of your own shadow too, aren't you? This is the worst possible scenario. Well, that just proves that you've got no imagination. And remind me, which one of us is fear-mongering again? A man who has never been told no sits on a throne that you built for him. 
<laughs> and you're going to sit there and say that someone's told you no? Ever? If you look up entitled brat in the dictionary, I bet there's a picture of you. A man who is exempt from paying taxes. A man who thinks he can have his way with women's bodies despite their objections. What objections? You mean your objections? <laughs> Do you think we just sit around talking sports and belching and farting when the chicks aren't around? A man who our series of checks and balances will utterly fail. Oh, you got a time machine now, you fuckhead? How much power do you think the president has? When marginalized people say that we are afraid, we are afraid of a looming reality that we already see unfolding. Oh, I see. So Trump actually has a time machine too. So he can project his presidential power backwards in time to before he actually took office. Oh, okay. That's good to know. A rise in hate speech. Otherwise known as disagreement. Harassment. Otherwise known as disagreeable YouTube comments. Threats of violence. And now actual violence. Violence is and shall forever be illegal. Go home. You don't belong here. Make America great again. Wait, aren't you Canadian? As long as you're white and a man and straight and Christian, the list goes on. Yes, yes, yes. We all know that you love dividing everyone up in ridiculous categories. The problem is normal people don't like your divisive identity politics. We just want people to be equal, and we don't want to label them. Egalitarianism, bitch. Hate is no longer banished to the sidelines. Yes, I can see the hate flowing through you. With each passing moment, you make yourself more the servant of hatred. Take your weapon. Strike me down with it. Discrimination and prejudice are no longer fringe positions. If they ever were in the first place, I don't think they were. Yes, they were, and they still are. Nothing has changed. We just got a new president. Happens all the time. A fire has been quietly kindling in homes across the nation, hidden behind closed doors and screens. You mean the fire of anti-SJW, anti-bullshit? Yes, I guess you're right. On the tip of white America's tongue and quickly swallowed to keep up the guise of equality. The guise of equality? Isn't that sexist? Shouldn't it be the exeers of equality or something? But seriously, we have equality. Why won't you accept it? Why won't you accept equality? Equality is a fairy tale you tell your children at night before you build walls in your sleep to keep out anyone who doesn't look like you. Yes, I think that pretty much perfectly describes you. So, go on, I guess. The wildfire is spreading. It burns in the hearts of Klansmen, publicly celebrating this new America. Well, in that case, they're just as dumb as you are. Or is it just a slightly repackaged version of old America? I really can't tell anymore. Probably because you're not old enough to understand how incredibly far we've come. But it also burns in the hearts of our politicians, police officers, businessmen, blue-collar workers, students, ministers, and maybe even you. Freedom and equality, you mean? Yeah, sure. Don't blame me. Blame my gender. More white men and women voted in this election for Trump than they have for other Republicans in either of the past two elections. Well, what you fail to realize is that people didn't vote for Trump as much as they voted against Clinton. The previous two elections didn't have Clinton, did they? Now where's your goddamn pacifier? It's like you were waiting for a match to strike against us and burn us to the ground. <clears throat> well, I won't deny that I've had my fantasies, but luckily I'm still free to think whatever I want. In reality, however, I of course don't condone burning anyone down, not even witches. Or maybe you were just waiting for someone else to hold the match. No, seriously, we don't wish bodily harm on you, comprende? We just want to educate you. You want to be educated now, don't you? <sighs> and with that, we're done. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Hasta la vista, baby.